today i come up with a new transaction so today we are going to learn a new transaction in business uh, in business you know uh, we need to pay advances to vendors sometimes so today's transaction is how to post a vendor advance in sap fi hi i am krishna rai and we are at professional learners here we are learning sap fi co tally erp and advance excel so let's begin today's transaction so today we are going to post a vendor advance in fi co and the pin code for the same is f48 so now what is the transaction which we are going to post in sap fi so transaction is advance payment to internal so our vendor is internal to whom we are going to pay 10000 rupees as a advance so first of all i just uh, show you what is the general entry so general entry is we are going to debit with vendor advance payment gl to internal for 10000 rupees and we are paying by the bank so bank account would be credited so this would be the accounting entry which i am going to show you how we can post in sap fi okay so let's begin to login into sap now so first of all when you are uh, making an advance payment to a vendor we have to create a advance request and that request would be approved by the management okay whoever is there in your company and then that advance request will be converted in advance payment so first of all we need to create a advance request so for creation of advance request the t code is f-47 so go to f-47 enter here the just like any other transaction enter the document date same i am considering as a posting date now this is the document type which system is automatically captured ka here we need to enter the company code so in my, my case the company was c101 c it has limited then in this currency we need to enter the currency inr indian currency now go to reference tab in reference i have told you in previous sessions also that in reference we need to enter a document number which is with us so for this case i am advance payment okay and uh, this number is say for example 1 now in this tab we need to enter the account number vendor account so what is the vendor account number we need to search here. so give here company code whatever it is so c101 is my company code i have to enter this and then search the vendor to whom we are making the advance payment so vendor is internal click on the vendor then in next tab you need to give target special gl indicator so in sap when you are posting vendor advance you need to post through a special gl indicator it cannot be directly debited at credit so you can't debit or credit in vendor directly likewise you can do in vendor invoice in this case when you are paying the advance to vendor you can pay it through advance gl indicator which is special gl indicator so that is in case of vendor a for vendor account just enter this is information message enter once again and here you can enter the amount so in our case amount is 10000 so just enter the amount then business area business area is vdad vadodara dumon so here you need to enter dumon means a payment token payment date what is the uh, liability of you your to pay to the vendor now here in tax column you need to enter the tax part so advance payment 
against PO purchase order. Okay, so just enter everything you have entered. Now go to display overview so that you can review the document. So this is one line item document. This is only a noted item. This will not generate any accounting entry as such. Okay, so first of all, we will create this document. This document is now created. Docker number is this. So this is just a noted document which we have created for advance request. Okay, and this request will be uh, you know uh, approved by your management first of all. Then in finance department, we need to process advance payment. So for advance payment, D code is F dash forty eight. Okay, in F dash forty eight again, you need to enter the details like just we have entered document date. Then posting date is same as far as document it is concerned. Here you can see the document type is KZ, which is for advance vendor payment. The document type is capital. Now company code C one zero one. I know is in is the currency which we are going to use to post this transaction. In reference, we again enter the advance payment one. Okay, this is the number of the payment advice. Now again in this column, vendor account, we need to again enter the details of the vendors. So again search it. Give your company code C one zero one. Click on sir. Right tick and your hint terminal is there. Here we need to again enter the special field indicator. In F dash forty seven, you have entered the special field indicator, which is target, and here the actual. And the both would be the same. A. Then this is bank account details. So here from which bank we are going to pay? So in our case, it is HDFC Bank GL account two double zero one double zero. Then again, business area you need to enter amount. For time being, I don't know what is the amount of advance. So I'm entering one as a nominal amount. Then again, value date. We need to enter the value date thirty twelve, and the tax advance payment against PU. Okay. After filling all these details, just click on request because now we have created the request. So request. Enter once again, and this is the request which system will show you against the vendor account seven zero one zero. Select this request and create down payment. Enter once again, and now your down payment is created, but your first line item is credited with one rupee. So click on this line item, delete whatever you have entered, give star here, and press enter. So this will capture the second line item amount. Again simulate. So when you will again simulate, system will show you the business transaction. So this is the reference advance payment one date is thirty twelve twenty twenty one and the line item SDFC bank account is credited as far as our accounting entry is concerned this one and vendor account is debited okay just I have shown you here vendor account in terminal was debited but the GL account which is debited is for advance GL okay the uh, vendor is debited with a special GL indicator. So in this case, vendor is debited, right? But with a special GL indicator, the GL account would be different. In this scenario, GL account would be advance payment to vendor. This way, I will show you in a page zero three. So after reviewing this accounting entry, just click on save, and now your advance payment is booked in SAP. Okay. So this is how you can process an advance payment to vendor. Now I'm just showing you the accounting entry so that the concept would be cleared. Go to F zero three, enter this document number, and here you can see the SDFC bank account is credited with ten thousand rupees and hint terminal is debited with ten thousand rupees. It is having a special zero indicator column as well A. 
Okay. So what is the GL account which is debited and credited? That if you want to see, go to general user view. And here you can see this is advanced to vendor services, which is getting debited. So you can see in this uh, vendor advanced payment, the debit GL was for asset. 200 which is our asset account okay it is current asset and it is advanced to payment advanced to vendor so likewise you know in gl account this gl account is getting debited but when you have posted vendor invoice the gl account would be your liability okay through which you have trade payable account was credited on that time so through this indicator, A indicator, we have differentiated the GL account which is getting posted, which is getting affected. Okay. So I think this would be clearing your doubt about how you can post in vendor payment, vendor advanced payment. Okay. And um, how the GL account is getting debited and credited. Thank you for watching this. Please comment and share this video if you like it. Please Click on like button, subscribe this channel for advanced knowledge about your SAP FICO, your Tally Totty RP and advanced Excel. Thank you for watching this. And if you have any doubt, please uh, comment in the comment box and I will reply as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.